Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day as a raw vegan. Um, I woke up a little bit ago, did my typical morning routine that involves meditation and getting some exercise and lots of hydration. So I've had a little bit of water already today and I'm just about to dive into my breakfast. And right here I have three yellow dragon fruits. And if you haven't had these before, they're super delicious and beautiful. There's a few different dragon fruit varieties out there. There's the kind that's pink on the outside and white in the middle like this. There's one that's also pink on the outside, but pink in the inside as well. And then there's this yellow one, which is my favorite variety because it's the sweetest. And it's kind of hard to get the other varieties in the US that taste good in my experience. So I just haven't had a good experience with, with the other two. So if I'm gonna get dragon fruit because it's pretty expensive, I always go with the yellow. Just a, a key tip out there for you. Um, but anyway, this is gonna be my breakfast. It's pretty light, so I'll probably end up having something else um, shortly after. Most days I start my day with like a big smoothie or fruit bowl or smoothie bowl that will keep me full for hours, but today I had some dragon fruit on hand, so I'm gonna dig into this. It's um, not very calorically dense though, so like I said, I'll probably dive into a more calorically dense smoothie shortly after, but I will keep you updated throughout the day and show you what I end up eating next. Alright guys, so it's officially dinner time for me and I have this big beautiful salad right here. As you can see, there's some greens at the bottom. I have romaine and spring mix and then there's some alfalfa sprouts, some cucumber and avocado and tomato and then I dressed it all with my favorite tahini dressing. It's absolutely amazing. I crave it all the time and I have it almost every night because it's just so easy to make and it's so delicious. And if you're interested, I do have a recipe video for the tahini dressing. Um, it's from a while back, but you can check it out if you're interested. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this big, beautiful dinner. And I wanna go over the full nutrient breakdown for today, which I will do after this clip, because I wanna show how easy it really is to get all the nutrients you need eating this way. I know it's probably pretty surprising for some people, watching this video and going, how is that possibly healthy to just be eating, you know, just fruits and vegetables, but it really is optimal. And I want to show you, you know, you, you get all the nutrients you need. You don't get the things that you don't need. 
when you're eating a standard American diet and eating animal products, you're getting way too much of stuff that you don't need, like saturated fat and cholesterol, and you're not getting enough of the things that you do need. That's why I want to go over the nutrient breakdown with you guys, and I hope you enjoy. So here is the nutrient breakdown for this day of eating. As you can see, I got close to 2,800 calories, and I typically aim to get around 80% of my calories from carbohydrates and around 10% from fat and 10% from protein. And I hit right around that range this day, just like I usually do. So moving on, you can see these are some of the targets that we're gonna go into further detail. My B vitamins look great. B12 is actually a bacteria. It's not found directly in food, but it used to occur naturally in our water sources and on our food. But due to our highly sanitized modern society, it's harder to come by. So it's something that I recommend supplementing with from time to time just to make sure you're getting enough of that. Same with vitamin D. We all know that does not come from food, it comes from sunshine, and I get plenty of sunshine living in Southern California, but if you live somewhere with less access to sunshine year-round, it's definitely something that I would recommend supplementing with as well. And as you can see, it's very easy to get all the vitamins and minerals you need, eating plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. plenty of carbs and fiber. And then looking at the fats, so on a standard American diet, they recommend a lot more fat than you actually need. It's actually very, very bad for insulin resistance, which is something I used to suffer with and cured on a low fat diet. And it also increases your risk for diabetes. So I eat lower fat than recommended because I've gotten way better health results doing so. And I try and focus on getting enough omega-3s, which you could see I get plenty of. And omega-6s are low for me, but because the recommendations are about a 1 to 12 ratio, and it should be more of a 1 to 4 ratio based on scientific studies that show lower omega-6s than is, is currently recommended, is actually much, much better for health. So this looks great to me. And then scrolling down, you can see just how easy it is to get protein eating this way. And I hit all of the amino acids as well. So this just goes to show right there, all the nutrients you need is found in fruits and vegetables. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check me out on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.